I have one backpack for all occasions, either I'm traveling or simply surfing through the city. My bag setup stays pretty much the same. So here's what's in my tech bag, my favorite gear and accessories I take with me daily and for travel. All-purpose backpacks should fit four pillars. Look nice, lightweight, have organization and plenty of space. And with this one I checked all the boxes. This is TomTuck Vint Pack. As you may already know, I use a sling bag from TomTuck pretty much every day. And after six months, it is by far the most comfortable solution for EDC. I made a video where I tried to fit all of my EDC, including Steam Deck, into this sling bag. And six months and a few flights across the world later, I had no issues. And I'm happy with my purchase. As for the backpack, TomTuck did send me their Vint Pack and they are sponsoring this video, but all the opinions here are purely mine. So it is a 22 liter backpack and I think it is a perfect size for day-to-day -day and travel carry-on bags. I can personally fit everything into this size backpack for a week or even two weeks long trip. All my previous backpacks were the same size and I traveled with them across the world with a bunch of camera gear, EDC and clothes inside. On some trips I even brought with me my coffee setup. One of the most important things for me in tech and gear is the looks. And sometimes I can sacrifice the quality, the size and weight to have a nice looking backpack. But TomTuck here delivers at every point. I love the retro design, it's not really loud and pretty simple. Check out this colorway. Grey is my favorite color in everything right now. I have a desk setup in this theme and I try to buy all the tech in light grey colors. They also have this backpack in black and yellow master. And you can customize this backpack to pretty much any color combination on the TomTuck's website. First thing that comes to mind when you fill this backpack is how light it is. I always had a problem with backpacks being too heavy. In the packing space every ounce and gram counts, especially when you're traveling and walking 20k steps a day and at the end of the day your shoulders are absolutely numb. So this is a really light backpack that weighs just 2 pounds, especially when comparing it to my old backpack which weighs 4 pounds. And even though the bean pack is light, you may think that materials are very thin, enclosures inside of it are thin and made with a nice soft touch, so your laptop and tablets will be protected. And the soft touch compartments for your laptop and the tablets don't touch the bottom of the backpack, so if you drop it, your laptop will be completely safe. The exact problem I had on my previous backpack with the laptop touching the unprotected bottom of the backpack and I accidentally banged my laptop a few times. I love all the additional compartments here that help organize all the items. I kept finding more and more features weeks after getting this backpack. Like this inside handle that I can use to hang an open bag to have easy access to everything inside. From the outside you have these easy access zipper pockets on the top. I threw some of my ETC there. Here's one zipper pocket that is hidden from the view for some cash, phone or documents. Here's also a magnetic pocket on the bottom where I store wet wipes and stolen tea bags from hotels. On each side of the backpack there is a bottle bucket, which is also perfect for small tripods that I bring with me. And I also keep here a small light that sometimes really helps with filming. On the side of the backpack there is a quick zipper access to everything inside for your comfortable use. Now let's get to the inside. It has the main compartment and two compartments for a laptop and an iPad. It can easily fit my 14-inch MacBook and you can fit a 16-inch as well. Here are all my laptops comfortably sitting in this compartment. In the main compartment there is also a side pocket. I usually store my Bluetooth speaker here or a big better bag. All in all, it is a great backpack for all the purposes. For day-to-day -day life, for students and for traveling. And I will continue testing it on a daily basis. Check this Vint pack from TomTuck with the link in the description as well as other TomTuck products. Now let's look at other tech I bring with me daily and for travel in this backpack. As I've already mentioned, the thing I can't live without, after the iPhone, is my laptop. I currently use first generation M1 Air since I splashed a bottle of water into my 14-inch MacBook Pro. But it's been great. Even though it's a first generation processor, it still handles all my editing projects even with 4K footage. And with its price being at all time low, it is the best entry-level piece of tech into Apple ecosystem. The second sleeve inside is perfect for tablets, but I don't carry iPad with me daily, so I keep my notebook there to write some quick thoughts and draw sketches. Now to the main compartment. It has a lot of space for gear, accessories and clothing. So my clothing setup when I'm traveling is pretty simple. I keep here five pairs of underwear and socks for different occasions, a few t-shirts, one dress shirt, a pair of shorts to wear at home and to the gym, all the warm stuff like hoodie, overcoat or unique low puffer and pants I always keep on me while traveling to free up space. My skincare routine is pretty simple and as for toiletries I have a razor with me, small bar soap, gel in a small bottle, toothpaste and toothbrush, small travel size perfume and a small stick deodorant. All the remaining space is filled with my tech, which is camera, mandatory thing for me and usually not a single piece. Besides my main full frame Sony camera with chunky lens, I have this tiny Sony ZV-1 as a second backup camera. 
There is also a film camera and a cassette tape camera, as I always enjoy the process of filming with tech from different eras. All the small gear, like wires and accessories, I keep in this tech pouch, which is also from TomTom. My go-to setup is a huge battery pack, Apple USB-C charging cable, one micro USB cable and one lightning, as I still have SE. I always charge my gear with this Ugreen travel power adapter, which has three different outputs and it's removed my socket pain while traveling. Sometimes I bring my mouse with me, which is Logitech MX Master 3. As for my go-to EDC stuff, I keep them in my sling bag iPhone, earbuds, batter bags, Steam Deck when I'm traveling. Again, I fitted so much stuff in this thing in one of my previous videos that you can check here. Thank you to TomTuck for making this video possible. Make sure to check out the Vinpack and other products from TomTuck with link in the description. And yep, see you in the next one. Peace.